Hello everyone, and welcome to your third fan-requested Friday matchup of the week. Chris Bumstead, 2020, Olympia, of course. Hunter Labrada, 2021, this is the Chicago Pro. Normally, I do not honor men's classic physique division competitors for the Fan Request Friday, but this is Chris Bumstead. I do know that he has all eight mandatory shots, and that is not usual for a uh, classic physique division competitor. Perhaps he is flirting that uh, he does want to go to the open class. I don't think he ever will. There's certain tools here that Hunter Labrada has that Bumstead cannot combat against. Hunter has a massive set of quads. So does Bumstead. More separated, probably. But maybe not as big a, big a round as Hunter's. When you look at the arm department, Hunter Labrada is smoking. And I mean smoking. Chris Bumstead. So, I mean, if not for the arms, the torso, the vacuum pose, muscle separation, and even in the wheels, if not for the arms, I could easily give this one to Chris Bumstead. But the thing of it is, it is for the arms. It is for the arms. They do exist. And Hunter Labrada, he's no slouch. Front lat spread, this one is an easy shot, I would say, for Chris Bumstead. You can really see those massive quads here for Hunter Labrada. He's just a bigger, thicker, he's an open class competitor. He's an open class competitor. And these guys are suited to their division, I would say. But Chris Bumstead is number one. He is the world champion. He's the best in the world in his division. Surely, surely he could defeat some of the open class competitors on the Olympia stage. Is Hunter Labrada one of them? In this pose it is. He is. Turn to the side. And this is where an open class competitor really shows that he is so. That he is uh, one of those competitors. Look at the hanging hamstring. Chris Bumstead stands no chance. Look at the arms. Chest even. Bumstead winning on the maybe the midsection. But that, that means little to nothing against Hunter Labrada who has no midsection distension issues whatsoever. Pretty much a perfect side chest development, if you ask me. Now, don't get me wrong, Bumstead hitting his to a T, but so is Hunter Labrada. And the side tricep, no different. Hunter hits this one. This is how I want it to be hit. Now, Bumstead also hits his perfectly, straightens his far leg. You can see that. Paul Dillette used to do that. Only he's hitting it better than Paul Dillette. Showing his tricep. Showing his chest. It looks good. Vacuum pose. Hunter, one of the best. Top 10. Top 3 in comp uh, competitors today. You'll notice I slipped in a little, uh, little secret there in the bottom of Hunter's legs there. Do you see that? That picture was uh, superimposed in there. Doesn't matter. This is how it would look. <laughs> it's not cheating. It's not cheating. Hunter looks strong heading into the back development. And again, these guys are suited to their division. Look at the length of Hunter Labrada's back. From the front, it looked like he had longer quads. From the from behind, Chris Bumstead's the high-ender. He's a, he's a long-legged individual and a short-backed. Now, muscle for muscle, don't get me wrong. Chris Bumstead is amazing. It would be actually be interesting to, interesting to see how he would look if he was shorter and stouter let's let's have a look boom if super set man hello super set maniacs and welcome back to my channel if he can do it i can do it maybe not as good but it is a pretty fun comparison here i think bumstead would probably smoke hunter labrada and anyway guys that's not how it is and hunter's just so big and thick in the back development he probably would get an edge I think with ease. Rear double by is a different story. Those lat insertions that were... I don't know if he was hiding them. Hunter Labrada. I don't want to say that. That sounds disrespectful. He just... It, it wasn't that drawn out. His back look... It looked better, I guess you could say. For lack of a better term. Against Chris Bumstead's. But here in the rear double by, Chris Bumstead looks fantastic. He looks outstanding. He looks like he could take an open class competitor. And Hunter Labrada, I believe his rear lat to be the better pose of the two. And Bumstead's rear double 
is the better of the two. So I guess maybe one one for one. And that says a lot for Chris Bumstead, guys. Go to the abs and thigh. This one surprises me for Hunter Labrada. Hunter standing up to the much more aesthetically pleasing Chris Bumstead. But he, you know, he's right there with him. Ab muscles, quads. Hunter's a beast. But as to be expected, I mean, yeah. Yeah, Bumstead's probably still winning this one. But with those obliques, you see those there, Hunter, and the feathering in his quads. Lats there, good V-taper. He's definitely not getting bullied around, so to speak. Finish this one off with the most muscular, and most certainly, Bumstead. He's good, he's good. But he just does not have the thickness, the stoutness of a Hunter Labrada. And we all seen how Hunter stood up to certain guys of of certain height. I mean, to, to size these guys, you'll never really know, because they never stood next to each other. But Chris Bumstead, I would wager to say he is at least six feet, maybe even taller, maybe even taller. Hard to get exact reports. I'm sure I'll get, I'll get several of you guys tell me exactly how tall he is. And as far as Hunter, he could be as close to five foot ten, five foot nine. I believe him to be five foot nine. Could be even a little bit taller. Looks fantastic. Here is your winner, Hunter Labrada. Could be of some debate, guys. I am sure your the classical fans will argue and say Bumstead was winning every shot. He looked better. He looked better. He looked hey, he's winning the beauty contest. But let's face it, thicker, maybe more developed muscle. That front double by, both side shots in my opinion. Anyway, I'm sure it will be a debate, but in my opinion, Hunter Labrada, he was the more muscular man, and he would win on an open class, judged atmosphere, in my opinion, that is. Hit thumbs up on the video, look forward to one more, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Have a great day.